Okay, guys, let's move to one more example uh, here. If I want uh, anyone of you to participate, or as what you did already in the drill, which I gave you in the class, um, you first did distribution or expansion for the, the bracket, which was perfect. And here we're like, we need to find the value of this integral. So the first thing I will think about, I'm going to distribute first. So it will be 2 sine x plus cosine x multiplied by itself, cosine x multiplied by itself to sine x plus cosine x multiplied by itself. So you need to expand. Once you multiply this by this, it will be 4 sine sine square x and then you have 2 sine x multiply by cosine x it will be 2 sine x and cosine x and then if you multiply cosine by 2 it will be 2 sine x cosine x and then if you multiply the last one cosine x by cosine x will be cosine square x. If you collect the like terms, you're going to find 2 cosine x, 2 sine x cosine x by 2 sine x cosine x. Collect it will be 4 sine x cosine x. And for the first one, you're going to have 4 sine square. This question was a bit lengthy and you already took um, too much time, but no problem. At least you just tried. So I will now explain in details. Now what you can do to simplify this. If you check this 4 sine square x plus cosine square x, you need from this 4, 1 sine square x only and add it to the cosine square x. You can use one of the, uh, the you can get benefit from one of the identities that will decrease this expression. So I can write this as what? 3 sine square x added to 1 sine square x. I'm doing splitting. Plus drop the middle term as it is. 4 sine x cosine x. And here we have cosine square x. So you can collect this one and this one. 1 sine square x plus cosine square x gives you the identity, which is sine square x plus cosine square x. It gives you 1. So these can be cancelled and replaced by 1. So now what you will have, you can have 3 sine square x plus 1. 1 instead of this and this. And then here, check here this one. Can you change this to any identity? Yes. This means what? It means 2 multiplied by 2 sine x cosine x. So this one is which identity? This is the double angle formula in case you have cosine. This is the sine 2x. So what you can do now, it will be 3 sine square x plus 2 sine 2x and then plus 1. So what did we do in this again? Here I have 4 sine x cosine x becomes 2 by 2 sine x cosine x. And then 2 sine x cosine x is the identity which is double angle formula in case you have cos you have sine. So it will be 2 sine 2x. Uh, still you cannot integrate till now because you can integrate 2 sine 2 x, you can integrate the 1, but you cannot integrate still the 3 sine square x. So what you will do, you will try to find uh, any identity that help you to replace the sine square x with it. Think about the double angle formula. If you use the double angle formula in case of cosine, cosine 2 x, one of its uh, identities is cosine 2 x. Sine to x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. To make sine square x as a subject, 
shift it there, just do swap. So two sine square x is equal to one minus cosine two x. And hence, you can divide by two. So sine square x can be replaced by one over two, which is half, half minus half cosine two x. So this is now the replacement for this one. So you can replace uh, sine square x with half minus half of sine two x. And don't forget to multiply by three. So now this expression can be written now as what? Integral of from zero till pi over four. Replace now the sine square, it will be three. Now we need to multiply this three by this expression. Three by three, by one over two to be three over two minus three by one over two to be three over two and then cosine cosine two x and then you have plus so now we replace this with this expression still i have two sine two x and then plus one at the end so you need to integrate and then do the replacement uh, here, if you want to collect first the like terms, 1, 3 over 2 and 1, it would be written as 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2 cosine 2x plus 2 sine 2x and then integrate from 0 till pi over 4. So what I will do now, I need some space to integrate. I'm going to erase this part, the top part. So the last part we each two is, I have integrated from 0 till pi over 4 for what? 5 over 2 and 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2 cosine 2x plus 2 sine 2x. Uh, now I will need to move to this part to have some space. So you can see the integral. And then we need to replace it. This is the definite integral from 0 till pi over 4. So I will continue here, the integral. The integral will be the integral of. Pi over 2. Uh, minus 3 over 2. Cosine. 2x plus 2 sine 2x all dx. And here uh, we will remove this part, this part as well. Uh, now let's focus on the integral. Now, if you want to integrate 5 over 2, it will be 5 over 2x. Because any constant will be integrated, you need to add x. In this case, what's the integral of cosine? It's sine. So and then this two, which is coefficient, you will take the reciprocal for this. So you can have minus three over two multiplied by half, the reciprocal of two, the coefficient of the angle, cosine it changes into sine two x plus. Now you will take the reciprocal of this. Here uh, it will be two multiplied by one over two. And take care about something. The sine, the integral for sine is negative cosine, so the sine here will be negative negative uh, cosine 2x, and now it's from 0 to pi over 4, definite integral, or definite integration. So this part will be 5 over 2x, the same as it is, with no simplification. And then here, minus 3 over 4 sine 2x. This and this will cancel each other minus cosine 2x between 0 to pi over 4. Now, uh, we need to just replace the values to get, we need to replace pi over 4 and 0 to get the final result. This question was out of 6 marks. 
So here, uh, I will replace 5 over 4. So you're going to have 5 over 2 by multiplied by pi over 4. And then minus 3 over 4 times. If you make sign on the calculator, sign 2, two times pi over 4 gives pi, pi over 2. So sine pi over 2, which is sine 90. Sine 90 gives you 1. So this is sine pi over 2 minus. Here, if you make 2 by pi over 4, it gives you half. Uh, pi, sorry, it gives you pi. So cosine pi over 2, it gives 0 as well. This gives 0. So from this bracket, uh, what I would have is 5 over 2 times pi over 4. It would be 5 pi over 8 minus 3 over 4 times sine pi over 2. gives sine pi over 2 is 1. 3 over 4 by 1, it would be 3 over 4. And then... This part is 0, cosine by uh, pi over 2 is 0. So it will be minus 0. Then minus the second bracket here. If you replace 0, it will be 5 over 2 times 0. Give 0. Minus 3 over 4 sine 2 by 0. And this part. And then minus cosine 2 by 0. Here, if you do calculate, cosine 0 on the calculator gives 1. Sine 0 gives 0. So this part has been cancelled. 3 over 4 by 0 is 0. Uh, cosine uh, two, 2 by 0 is 0. Cosine 0 is 1. So minus 1. So you're going to have in this bracket a negative 1 here. And then you need to calculate. You will have now 5 pi over 8 minus 3 over 4 and then minus minus 1 gives plus 1 so at the end it gives 5 pi over 8 added to 1 over 4 this is the final answer this is the exact value for this 